On today's video, we're going to talk about trolling for springtime rainbow trout. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, today's video is about trolling for springtime rainbow trout. Now this pattern will probably work anywhere that they stock rainbows in smaller inland lakes, but up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, where I live and fish, these rainbows have been underneath two to three feet of ice all winter long. And when that ice melts in the spring, they are very eager to find some warmer water. So those first couple weeks after the ice melts, these rainbow trout can be kind of congregated up in some of these warmer water areas. Now, warmer water is kind of a relative term, right? So for me, in the early spring after the ice goes out, I'm just trying to find the warmest water in the lake that I'm fishing. And a lot of times, that's only going to be 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So where are you most likely to find this warmer water? Well, of course, near the surface, shallow water, and oftentimes it's also going to be a little bit warmer on the northern side of the lake where it catches a little bit more sun throughout the day. That warmer water feels pretty good to these rainbows, especially after a long winter. And the warmer water is oftentimes where that first food chain is going to start. So most of the time when I'm trolling for these springtime rainbows, I'm trolling with some kind of rig that's going to run pretty shallow. Even though I might be trolling over 20, 30, 40, 50 feet of water, I'm really going to be running those baits high, trying to come in contact with those rainbow trout that are going to be near the surface. So any kind of setup that I'm going to be trolling with, I want to run fairly shallow, only two or three feet below the surface. Now, trolling spinners and spoons is a great option, but probably my favorite thing to troll for these springtime rainbows is a jointed rapala. I like these J5 or J7 sizes, and my favorite color is orange. Whenever you're fishing for rainbows, I really don't think you can go wrong if you're using the color orange. And when you're trolling for these springtime rainbows, you really can't go too fast. Two, three, four miles an hour is perfectly fine. That's going to help you cover a lot of ground and come in contact with a lot more fish. Now, I got a couple more things that I want to discuss when it comes to trolling for these springtime rainbows. But I'd like to take a quick time out with a word from my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers. Hey guys, has this ever happened to you? You're out in the backwoods, like I am today, you're fishing your favorite trout stream, and you're catching so many fish that you run out of bait. Well, that's not what happened to me today. I actually forgot to bring bait. But luckily for me, Camaro's Crawlers is now offering Bait Dash services. Bait Dash is just like DoorDash is to restaurants. But instead of bringing you food, my buddy Ronnie Camaro will deliver you all the fishing products that he has at his bait shop. Now, you guys know Ronnie Camaro, right? He only drives Camaros. He's got a summer Camaro. He's got a winter Camaro. But Ronnie does make an exception to the Camaro rule when he needs to get out into the backwoods. So luckily for us, Ronnie Camaro's got a souped up off-road motorcycle so he can get those fishing products to us even if we're off the beaten path. Because even Ronnie's Camaros can't get back to where I am today. All I had to do was call Camaros Crawlers and place the bait dash order for two dozen crawlers with Ronnie's pro staffer mom. Because as you guys might know, Camaros Crawlers is actually in the basement of Ronnie's parents' house where he lives. So, quite often, Ronnie's pro staffer mom will actually answer the phone. So Ronnie's pro staffer mom assured me that Ronnie would get those two dozen crawlers to me within 15 minutes. 
I think I hear him coming right now. Buddy! Hey, buddy, you got the crawler? All right. Awesome. Keep the change, huh? All right. I'll tell you what, Ronnie Camaro's bait dash service really came through for me today. So if you're out on the water and you forgot your hooks or you ran out of worms, be sure to call Camaro's Crawlers and give bait dash a try. Also, if you're looking to get your Michigan fishing license, be sure to stop by Camaro's Crawlers and Ronnie's pro staffer mom will direct you to a store that sells fishing licenses. For all your fishing needs, Camaro's Crawlers has you covered. Yeah, I gotta tell you, that is just awesome, all that stuff that Ronnie's got going on down at the bait shop there. But let's get back to trolling for these springtime rainbows. Now, another thing that can really help you out when you're trolling for these springtime rainbows is to incorporate the use of planer boards. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, oh gosh, planer boards, that's for uh, big water walleye or that's for big water trout and salmon. Well, anytime that you're trolling for any kind of fish, the use of planer boards can probably help you catch more of those fish. Now, if you're not too familiar with planer boards, I did do another complete video just on using planer boards. And I kind of get more in depth into the subject where you don't really need to have a lot of special equipment and you can use these on smaller lakes. It doesn't just have to be a big water technique. And if you're interested in getting a little bit more information on planer board fishing, I will leave a link below in the description of this video that will bring you to that video and you can check that out if you want. Now, why do planer boards help? Well, again, like I was saying, these fish are high in the water column. These fish are shallow. So when you're trolling along, if you don't use planer boards, a lot of times you're running over the fish that you're trying to catch and they're scooting off to the sides of the boat and they might not even see your lure as it's going by. So when you use these planer boards, you're spreading your lines out and you're presenting those baits to fish that haven't been scared off by the boat and you can also get a wider path covered, right? More coverage, a lot of times, is gonna equal more fish. And that kind of brings us to another reason that I really do like to use these floating jointed rapalas when I'm trolling for these trout. A lot of times, I am on smaller lakes, and I'm making a lot of tight corners, or I catch a fish, and I wanna kinda of swing around and make another pass through that same area. So a lot of times, when you're making a tight corner, that inside planer board might even be coming to a dead stop. So now, if you have some kind of lure or rig that sinks, it's gonna be dropping down and possibly getting snagged or picking up a piece of debris, and now you've gotta reel it in, clear the bait, and get that line back out. But with these floating rapalas, you make a tight corner, that inside board comes to a complete stop, that rapala just floats up to the surface and then it's just sitting there waiting for you to get moving again and catch some fish. And you know another thing that I really love about catching these springtime rainbow trout is they are fantastic eating. Alright guys, well there's a few tips for trolling for springtime rainbow trout. I hope maybe some of these things we talked about help you put a few more fish in the boat. And you know also, if you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. And also, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless. You don't gotta throw it at me. Oh, really? Don't ask.